Okay, I'm going to try to make a little video about um, how I do my mixed media pens. And um, what uh, you can see here is I have a whole lot. Um, these are done on Domino's. I just buy them at Walmart. The can with the largest number of Domino's in it seems to be the best. The Domino's are thinner. And I don't do anything to the... Uh, side that has the little divots in it because I use the flat side. And what I've done is I've gone online and I've found some um, graphics that I liked. Uh, the theme here is flamingos and I uh, printed them out in uh, one inch by two inch format and then I decoupage them. I use uh, deco art decoupage in the mat and I just decoupage them to um, the backs of the dominoes. And then what I like to do is, uh, after it's dry, I'll go around with a sander, an emery board, and I will sand off anything that's um, hanging over the edge. So that gives me a nice, smooth edge. It fits on the domino pretty nicely. And so then what I do is I um, go through my assortment of like washi tapes and um, since flamingos are pink I'm sticking mostly in the pink area and what I do is I um, just kind of lay them out like this and uh, figure out if I want to put washi tape on any of them and it's kind of like they don't all get washi tape um, and they don't all, the ones that do, don't all get the same kind. So what I like to do is just kind of um, unroll a little bit of my washi tape and see, I think this guy could use a little, um, a few pink polka dots. And, but I like his sandals. So I might go through and just put the washi tape down the side like this. Now there's, I'll come back again with my emery board and just file that excess off. And so I just kind of um, take my washi tape and hold it over things like this one would look good with some washi tape maybe along the bottom. And so I'll put a little piece of washi tape um, across the bottom. Now washi tape you can just get it at Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, it's, you know, easy to find. You, and you could go nuts buying all kinds of different washi tape. Um, I had to finally stop myself because I was getting a, quite a drawer full. And it doesn't have to go on straight. It can go on at an angle. And you could actually do it, um, up with a smaller piece so you didn't have so much overhang. But if it goes off over the edge, that's okay too. So I think I'm done with the polka dot. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's some stripes. Maybe we'll try some stripes. See if there's somewhere that I like to put a stripe on. If you can get it. The fingernails don't help sometimes. Um, oh yeah, that would look cute with a stripe. So let's put this guy up. And maybe put stripes along this edge. Okay, where else do I want to put stripes? Stripes, stripes, stripes. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, not sure. Oh, this one would look cute with stripes on it. I don't want to um, it would look cute with stripes on it but I don't want to take away from that little beach word at the bottom too much so I'll just put it like it's good about washi tape is you can lift it up and re position it so you don't have to worry if you put it somewhere you don't like it. So there. And 
then I'll wait, just get my emery board and oh, that has um, embellishments on that one side. I probably need a new emery board. So I'm just going to trim that off. See how nicely that worked? Gives me a nice clean edge. This is where fingernails do come in handy. Okay. A couple more. music playing. You definitely don't want me to sing. Turn the video off right away. Anyway, let me turn this over. We've got a couple of them there that have washi tape. Um, let's see. I also like to um, take scrapbook paper and uh, I like the rough edges. In fact, I want it to be a little bit rougher, so I'm going to tear so that I have this white edge here. And I'll just kind of go around and figure out um, which one I want to put some scrapbook paper on. See, I like it on there. So I will. And here again, the excess you're just going to sand off with an emery board. But you will... Get a little of your deco art decoupage. And I like to use older brushes for the decoupage because I don't want to ruin new brushes. But I'm going to put a little bit of decoupage on the domino and then I'll put some on the back of the scrapbook paper. Just like you would any other piece of scrapbook paper that you're going to decoupage onto something and put some across the top and then here again that excess will just sand off with the emery board when it's dry. Let's see any place else I want to put this one. This is kind of a cool color. I like the green. Let's see. I'm not finding a place that this is going with real well. Hmm. Maybe. Not really. Okay. So we have other. Got some pink anywhere. Oh, that looks good on that one. Um, I'm kind of conservative. So um, I'm hoping to loosen up sometime. Nah, I don't know. I like that word the words on there. So I might move to a different one. Mm. Basically what I did is I went through my scrapbook paper and pulled out flamingo-y or beachy colors. And I kind of like that. But I don't like that much white on the edge. So. What I'm going to do is put him, put some of this on here. Okay, set that guy 
my side. Get some more uh, paper with um, graphics and uh, printing on it is always fun to play with. Can always uh, like this flamingo was a, an old Jello ad, so it might be kind of cool to put a piece of um, scrapbook paper that's old-timey ads on it. People would, people probably wouldn't have been able to read the jello at the bottom anyway without their really, really, really good close-ups. Glasses. Let's see, anybody else? This bar and grill guy. No. Okay, I'm gonna go with a lighter pink. Maybe find something on the. Okay, that might work. And I'm basically just kind of rip and tear and play with it a little bit. Finding different things to put on. Here's some. This is heavier, so I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Um, but it's got the pink stripes, and it's also got a faint print in the background. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, we'll have to find some place to put it, maybe. I might go with this one. Yeah. So first I want to give it a torn edge. And then, yeah. Tear a little bit more of that off. So it's all a I always kind of work. I don't. I don't usually work one uh, pin at a time. It's it's this process of uh, 35 or 40 pins, and I uh, I like to you know just kind of uh, browse through them as I'm going and and figure out what it is that I want to put on them. So. I also like to use uh, little charms. You see, I have like a little lock and crowns and I like little buttons. Um, and so I'll use those to embellish my pieces too. Um, this little guy, I wanted to put a little flower on and I like to use uh, liquid fusion glue. And I'll just put a little daub and then put my flower on. Uh, you really should put it on the right way, not upside down. It, it would work much better if you didn't put it on upside down. Now it sticks to my finger really well. And I think I saw that I wanted to put the lock on this one that says Flamingo Hotel. Because uh, you always have a lock on your hotel door so let's put that there liquid fusion is a really good glue I use it to glue the backs on um, my uh, the pin backs on or the bales if I happen to turn uh, one of these into a necklace let's see now uh, this guy I liked the little black polka dot Um, I gotta find the guy I was gonna put the crown on. Oh, I was gonna put a crown on this one. I thought that would be kind of cool to have a little crown on there. There's another one over here I was gonna put a crown on. Whoops! Try not to throw them on the floor. crown 
or she needs a crown. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I can't tell. Something else I like to do is I have these uh, Tim Holtz Ideology, um, they're little um, stick on words, you can see, and I've used quite a few, but I like to go through them and um, find little words that I can put on things. You can get them themed. Um, so. Um, you can have the holidays. This one is like the holidays. And, um, or it's not the holidays. The holidays is in a, another kit somewhere. But anyway, I like to go through here and pull out um, things. Just little one words that will go on here. Let's see if we can find a word that um, will be good in, on here. How about friends? Um, how about on this guy? We put friends. And so you can go through and um, find little words. Um, I, I like to go to little um, stores and find, you can find all kinds. I don't need any flags that got stuck in there. But all kinds of uh, little um, stickers that are words that you can use. So just get creative there. Anyway, I'm going to stop this for a little while while I um, uh, gather some more supplies and trim off this excess scrapbook paper, and I will be back. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I've um, gone ahead and, and sanded off or used the emery board and sanded off the excess, and I've glued um little charms in place and actually shoved aside uh, the um, pins that I'm not working on right now I narrowed it down to just a few huh. and um, those of you that know me I'm kind of anal so that's why I went through and straightened all those out so um not always but a lot of times I will go through with um, some little stamps and I like to use stays on ink and um, I'll go through and add some embellishments with um, the stamp pad now sometimes this works okay yeah and what I've um, kind of found get out of there is I don't want to ink up the whole stamp because I'm not going to use the whole stamp and I might go through here and I'm using the back of the uh, the top of the stamp pad to uh, and see I just added a little bit of interest to that um, and it might not be something I do to every piece I might do it to the bar and grill um, and just to break it up a little bit. And that one didn't work too well because I didn't even get the stamp on there. Okay. And, I, you know, I added some more little words that I found. Um, be silly. Dare to be different. That's always a good one. So um, I'll go around and I'll just wherever I decide I want to put a little bit of interest on something I'll add my stamp probably I can't tell which way is right or up you don't even have to put it on the I'm um, put some right there 
kind of cool. And a lot of good it did for me to straighten those all up. Set this aside to clean it later, otherwise my friend Debbie will have a cow. Uh, this little tiny thing that says be amazing. Put it on the back of there. I have to be careful with this, it's little, it's smushy. I have a uh, acrylic block, but it is packed away so I can teach a class this weekend. Let's see, be amazing. Be nice if I get, oh, there, good. So stamp it off, and then let's see, maybe this guy. It's just got amazing on there, but that's better than nothing. And if I were to take time and really um, concentrate. Oh, there, that turned out really well. Be amazing. Stick it over here so I can clean it. But um, I probably don't use a lot of stamps. But when I, you know, I try to make them so they're not the focal point of the piece. But I like to, I, I'm a sucker for these little 50 cent or dollar little stamp things that you um, see at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you know, if you, if it's just a little, just something to add a little uh, something different to your, um, your little pin. And let's see, fuchsia pink. It's a pretty color. So I'm going to try this. Okay, cool. Pretty. I think I will put it on here. It's kind of purple. came out a little purple. I wanted pink. Let's see, where else can we put this? Maybe this guy. Mm, can't even see it. But, oh well. That's good. About here. Oops. Ah, uh, that didn't work too well, but it'll be okay. So, um, this is how I do them. I don't necessarily do them right, and I don't necessarily do them neatly, but they all turn out cute. I also like to take different things to add other texture. So here I have a piece of drywall tape that has the little, um, just a little web, the square web. When I use this, I normally will use burnt umber because uh, I don't want to go on it with black. I just black is just a little too harsh when it comes to this stuff and so I'll squirt out just a little bit of burnt umber and I like to use cosmetic sponges to do what I'm going to do is stencil through these and um, so I'll use a little cosmetic sponge and I'll take a lot of the paint off and I'll just I just want to add a little interest to the piece. You know, I've got those nice little squares. Um, maybe on this one. Oh yeah, okay, cool. And um, this is the backing from drywall joint tape, which I found at Lowe's. It has uh, round holes. There's actually a tape that is um, on this so it's thicker but I don't throw much away so um, I use this as a stencil too along as as well as the tape part of it so the beach guy needs something okay cool it's a few dots so this is a good one just to add some interest 
to pieces. Whoops. And you see the, the burnt umber doesn't, it adds to the um, design. It doesn't take away from it a lot. Now this is called Punchinella. And it's like a ribbon. It's a, what it is actually is it's what's left over when they punch sequins out of the, the little metallic ribbon. And um, I had to find this online. You, it seems to me you used to be able to get it at like Michael's or something, but um, I haven't been able to find it. But Punchinella here again is circles, but they're more compact and closer together than the drywall tape. So that's another little thing that adds interest. Um, you could come onto it with um, bubble wrap or um, shelf paper, shelf liner, the rubbery shelf liner stuff. Um, just about anything. This guy really needs to be, something needs to go. Well, it didn't take out enough paint. Okay. Um, what else? So this guy doesn't have anything. We'll just put a little punchinella in the corner. So you can just do, um, you know, whatever you want to these things, whatever strikes your fancy. Um, go back and add more um, stamps or scrapbook paper or whatever. Um, I didn't want to lose the flamingos on here, so I didn't want to go too crazy with the extra stuff. So, anyway, so then um, the last thing that I would do to them is paint the sides. And um, I like to do that with alcohol inks. So I'm going to go grab some alcohol inks. I have, let's see, this might be a little too red. Blue. So I used to do paint them with acrylic paints, but this is so much easier. Um, so I use this little uh, thing, it's got Velcro on it, and this little piece of felt, and I use um, the Tim Holtz Adirondack Brights um, alcohol inks. And this is a little red. It's going to be a little too red, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this alcohol blending solution and just kind of tone it down a little bit. That might have been toned down a little much, but we'll see. So, okay, so that toned it down a little bit. And all I want to do is add just a touch of color to the sides of these guys. I don't want the, the sides to stand out too terrible much. I think I need a little bit more of the ink on here. It's a little red, but it'll be okay. I'm kind of keeping it transparent. Let you see if I can go around. See how quickly I can paint the sides. Of these guys. And after that, I uh, let this dry for a little bit and take them out in the garage and I will varnish them with a coat of, I like to use Deco Art Spray Varnish in the gloss 
and then I bring them back in here and I glue a pin back on them and voila I have some little mixed media pins and just to show you some different ones that I have let's get some Halloween ones out here Valentine's Day. So you can the the possibilities of themes are just they're just unlimited. I have Thanksgiving, I have Valentine, here's a little Christmas, here's a patriotic. Um St. Patrick's Day, Halloween, snowmen. So, um, and see these, like this one has bling on it. Um, it's just, you, you're, um, what you can create is just limitless. So, anyway, that's how I go about creating uh, my mixed media pens. So now, go out and buy yourself some dominoes or some wood blanks and get out your scrapbook paper and your stamps and your washi tape and go to town. Um, I hope you enjoyed.